weekend. Tabiso Setoli joins us this afternoon. Tabiso, welcome. Thanks for joining Hi, us. How are you? Good, thank you. Yeah, so right. let's uh, let's start with cricket, yeah. and uh, we've done all right from what I can make out in this opening <laughs> session. But I'm not sure yeah. if that kind of <laughs> makes up for our blunders yesterday. Look, it was probably one of the, mo one of the most frustrating days of cricket. Um, unlike the South African team, we know clinical in the, in the field of play, um, drop catches, yeah. no balls. I mean, there was even a no Awful. ball from a spinner. Yeah. You know, Maharaj. So it was it was a, a bit of a you know. A topsy turvy day as far mm. as the fielding is concerned, and at one stage we had the uh, the English. I think it was forty two for the loss of four wickets. That's of course being in the morning session. Somehow we lost the plot. I mean, it came down to some like you know at close of play three seventy five for five. So from the morning session up until stumps were called, they'd only lost one wicket. And a short while ago, uh, in fact, South Africa, like we're saying, back into bat, um, ten for no loss after four overs. But then of course England had. Gone, run away with the match basically. Mm. 458 um, is the final score there for their opening innings. They bowled out um, man for me, Joe Root, mm. scoring 190. In fact, for a moment there last night before Stamps were called, I thought he'd march onto a double century. Yeah. He didn't get but there. He didn't get there. Well, it was a good knock. I mean, nice to, to, to be see, honest, yeah. it was really a good knock from, from Joe. Yeah. Also, um, you know, uh, Stuart, uh, Broad, 57 not out now, as well as the 56 by Ben Stokes as well yesterday. So, good partnerships in the middle of you know the batting lineup mm. kind of saved England's bacon, so to speak. But horrendous effort from South Africa. Yeah. I mean, Mone Morkel, I think, had a no ball. Um, Rabada had a no ball. Mm. Uh, a couple <laughs> of wise were all over the field. I think the most frustrating bit was that itself. And most of these were wicked taking balls. So, mm. All it's of a sudden you, you think... And Lords is usually a good... We, we like it there, so let's hope we can it's, kind of... It's, it, you know, of course we do. I mean, <laughs> one just needs to remember Makantini when he, when he yeah. kissed the ground after taking 10-4 in his, in his you, know, um, you know, innings at Lords, yeah. uh, bowling innings at Lords, where I think took, took 10 wickets. And again, South Africa really plays at Lord. I mean, mm. I think we only played Lords every four years or so. So it is a good hunting ground for us. Hopefully mm. they'll, they'll pull, pull it out of the bag. Uh, yeah, but still, 458... It's a big To be honest, target. as far as I'm concerned, I think this could be a draw at the end yeah. of, of, of the day because it's too uh, big a scoreline unless South Africa capitulates and they ball us out yeah. and England go other way. But right now, I mean, the guys are settled in 10 for no last four overs. I think right now they're just going to bat it out. Again, um, Faf is not there. He's slid home. Um, mm. uh, the birth of, 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 of a child in the family. Um, new captain, Dean Elgar. How will he stay at the troops? Look, unlike the ODI side, the test side has been a bit of a settled one, so I'm sure that they'll, they'll, they'll bat it out. Mm. Okay, the ladies are also playing, and they've been making us very proud. They've been doing quite well. Yeah, the Women's World Cup. I mean, yeah. they're currently fifth on the current standings mm. at the Women's World Cup. Now, this is group stages at the Women's World Cup, so the situation then becomes only top four make it to the semi-final overall. Um, we are fifth behind New Zealand, if I'm correct. By, not by points, but by uh, net run rate. Okay. So it's a case of now, we've got three matches left. We've got, I think, um, tomorrow we're playing India. Then we've got Sri Lanka sometime midweek. And then we've got Australia. And now remember, India and Australia are the top two teams in the world right now. In fact, India have not lost, they've only lost one match in their past 22 matches. And that loss was against South Africa. So we're hoping <laughs> that we beat them tomorrow. Yeah. We make top four, we qualify. I mean, uh, surely we, I think we should beat, uh, we should have the beating of the likes of Sri Lanka. I think that match is next week, Tuesday. And then we qualify for the semi finals, as I said, top four go through. They've been playing well. Mm. I mean, unlike the men's team who were actually at the World Cup, same, basically, same place uh, a couple of months ago. Mm. So wishing the ladies the best of luck tomorrow. It's going to be tough one against India, but they've done it before, so it yeah. could possibly well, be. Well, let's hope they. Uh, they pull through on that one. Um, and then football, we've got Bafana Bafana versus Namibia uh, yeah. later today. Yeah. Look, you know me and Bafana Bafana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best of, you know, of teams as yeah. far as my support is concerned. But look, Stuart Baxter, new coach. One loss um, came into the Kosafa Cup tournament. Uh, a lot of questions asked, you know, whether it's, it's the one for us, um, how serious should we take the tournament? It's only Sadiq region playing. But the reality is, you know, uh, Stuart Baxter wanted to do well at the Coast Africa Cup because it is, I think it was uh, the opening match against Tanzania was his second game in charge. So we lost that match. That was a quarterfinal game. So that's the one we actually wanted to win. Mm. We lost that match, but we still qualified for a cup final, not cup rather, but played final, which mm. will be this afternoon against Namibia. The nice thing about this squad though, Tasha, is that it's an average age of 22.5 years. So it's a young team. Vision 2022, straight yeah. backstage. This is what we want to build on, yeah. Um, you know, unlike many countries in the world, we still 
you know, regard players who are 25, 26, 28 as youngsters. Mm -hmm. Stuart Baxter had chosen a young team, so there's nothing wrong you yeah. know, in that. Um, should we judge him on whether he wins um, Kosafa? I don't think so. Defending champions, mm -hmm. sure we are, but mm -hmm. it's not that big a tournament. There's also the Chan tournament coming up as well in Africa. So there's quite a lot on Stuart Baxter's plate. So I'd leave him to his guys. Let him do what he has to do. Blood those youngsters. Um, keep it coming. We've got Wimbledon in full swing. Um, what are we on, round three or yeah, four round now? Three, round uh, three. Really good tennis, and we've got uh, Kevin Anderson. Is he playing pick already or still to come, his Pick match? of the week for me. Yeah. Um, great start by Kevin Anderson. I mean, we've always yeah. spoken about, you know, um, is it good enough? You yeah. Know? He's done very well. Uh, I think he beat um, uh, Vadasco in his opening match. Um, Vadasco, 31 seed. He's Vadasco of old, I think maybe could have given Kevin uh, you know, a good run for his mm. money. He uh, beat Andreas Seppi in his second round match. I think that's called 6-3, 7-6, 6-3 six, 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 against Seppi. He's got another match uh, later on this afternoon uh, against a Belgian. Um, what's his name? Uh, Ruben uh, Bemelmans. Okay. That match is, well, it's, it's another test for Kevin. But mm. I think if he does well here, that'll be the furthest he's gone at Wimbledon. So kudos for him for going this far especially after beating some of the big guns but the what is interesting in his first match against uh, i think vadasco 16 aces he beat him wow so the big he booming the big serving serve, anderson yeah. again is coming out of his fall good run for him but mm. i think there was a trick in the stands for kevin Ernie else was sitting there, so <laughs> Kevin should give Ernie a call and Sorry. say, look, Please I'm playing a game this afternoon, <laughs> just come and have a look at yeah. me. But I'm expecting great things from Kevin. You, again, tennis is a bit, any sport actually, mm. you know, you can never really say how, how yeah. you're going to perform against whichever opponent, especially like tennis and golf, because yeah. those are, depends on the, on the day. On the day, if, you, if you're up to it, you're up to it. But I'm uh, wishing Kevin the best of luck. Yeah, that match is about 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock this afternoon. So we'll definitely, definitely be watching that one. Good luck to him. Yeah. Um, let's quickly talk Super Rugby. And uh, hey, we've also got British and Irish rugby. Lions. Hey. And especially after today's announcement, but as we had in our package yeah. earlier, it is fact, the fact, worst kept secret. Look, it's, it's sad for mm, it the Cheetahs and for uh, the Southern Kings. Mm -hmm to be out of Super Rugby. One, in particular, I'll, I'll delve more on the Southern Kings. The region, the Eastern Cape region, the province of the Eastern Cape, they needed a Super mm. uh, Rugby franchise. I mean, the rugby of old, whether it's Curry Cup, I mean, the, the players that come from that particular region, huge, huge challenge. Yeah. So it's a great loss, particularly for the region uh, of Super Rugby leaving um, the Eastern Cape. But as you said, foregone conclusion we knew mm. about it uh, miles back mm. but again unfortunately for them they've, it's, a, it's a loss but maybe for rugby in the country it's probably a good thing stream uh, downstream it down too many matches bit, yeah. i mean the fact that we're still playing super rugby now i know that has to be interrupted by international yeah. season we've got the uh, um uh, tri nations as it were starting soon you got mm. you know so so in a way maybe it's good for the game maybe it's not uh, mm. who knows because then you're going to get a second string free state cheaters team who are playing in europe against yeah the top European teams, how well are they going to do that? Yeah. So, you know, the, the verdict is still out on whether it's a good it decision or not. It remains to be seen, exactly. Yeah. But overall, I mean, later today, we've seen, uh, as you read now, a couple Red of matches for us in Rebels, yeah. Waratahs and Jaguares. That match is currently on right now, I think. Mm -hmm. The Bulls versus the Kings at Lofters, uh, that's tomorrow even, afternoon. Yeah. Again, my vote goes to the Kings. I want them to go out in the high. Yeah, something oh, about, absolutely. Something about Bulls rugby I don't <laughs> like. And then Stormers versus Sunwolves. For me, the Stormers should take it. That match is at Newlands. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. So, lots of good... Um, sporting highlights for us this weekend and of so course British and Irish Lions please yes. please ne? I'm begging please beat yeah we <laughs> all want to, we all want to see the British and Irish Lions just um, give a good one <laughs> yeah. to the to the New Zealanders that would be lovely Tabiso thanks so much yes. um, Tabiso Sitoli with us on a Friday to just uh, look at some of our sporting highlights lots on the go lots of uh, rugby cricket Wimbledon and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, hold thumbs for Kevin Anderson and our ladies playing in uh, in their World Cup, and uh, also British and Irish Lions. Let's let's hope they beat the New Zealanders. Well, that's where we leave it for today. Join us again next.